Hey guys, welcome back to No Catchy Name. It's me, Ella, and today we're doing a Topic Tuesday. Hey guys, welcome back. For today's Topic Tuesday, I am answering a question, I guess it's just in our comment, from Joyce Goodrich. She asked on one of my posts about Topic Tuesday for me to explain some of the abbreviations for crochet and she didn't mean the abbreviations like in the patterns she meant like the ones used in like regular crochet conversation <laughs> so I got a list here of like the the basic ones the ones that I see used a lot and the ones that I use a lot personally so I'm just gonna run through them and explain what they mean some of the more commonly used ones and the most often seen would be whip faux and hoth I think are probably the most used ones so we'll just start with whip whip is w-i-p it means work in progress so that would be any of your your whips <laughs> any of the projects you're currently working on that you've already started but haven't finished yet fo or faux is finished object or finish off either either way same thing it's a project that you've been working on but you've just finished it so it's a finished object now hoth h-o-t-h isn't just a planet on star wars it also means hot off the hook which means a project you've been working on and is now finished like you just finished it and you're sharing it on facebook or something to show it off some more really common ones would be frog or frogged or frogging <laughs> and that means to rip out a project like if you've made a mistake or you just don't like it and so you're going to pull it all back and start over or just a certain amount of it like you had the frog 12 rows um, the reason it's called frog is because it comes from ripping, like ripping back, and they call it frogging because if you rip, 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 it kind of sounds like rib, rib, ribbit. So it's like frog ribbiting. And to go along with frogging or ripping back a project, hibernation is another one used. I use it a lot. I say it a lot. <laughs> um, that is a project that you're working on that you're not happy with. So instead of ripping it out or frogging it, you put it away. <laughs> Uh, you, like you put it in hibernation in a project bag in a closet somewhere where you may go back and fix it one day or finish it one day but not right now <laughs> UFO also goes along with frogging and ripping and hibernation it is a unfinished object so it's something that you started and haven't finished yet probably that would probably go along with a hibernating project so you would pull out your hibernating project and say that it's a UFO <laughs> cow cow and mal cow c-a-l cow K-A-L and MAL, M-A-L, all kind of mean the same thing. So C-A-L stands for crochet along, or it could also stand for craft along, which is, you know, like a crochet along. I'm sure you, most of you have heard of it. It's when a group of people do the same project or same type of project in a specific time, and it usually, when it ends, you can win prizes and stuff, or it's just for fun to, like, make decorations all together. A cow, K-A-L, is the same exact thing, just knit along. And a mouth is also the same thing, it's just a make-along. That could be crochet, knitting, sewing, any kind of craft-related type thing. So mouth and cow are kind of the same thing. <laughs> well, mouth and C-A-L, craft-along cow, it's kind of confusing, but they all mean the same thing, basically. C2C stands for corner-to-corner, corner, which is a crochet technique. And um, I'm sure you know what it is, but if you don't, it's where you start at a corner and you, you increase up to the size you want it and then you decrease down to make another corner. It makes a square project unless you do it a certain way to make it rectangular. But C2C is just a shortened version of that, so you don't have to write out corner to corner. LYS is local yarn store. This would be any yarn stores near you that isn't a big box store, like Michael's or Walmart or... Hobby Lobby, LYS would be like a little shop, you know, an independently owned one with um, fancier yarns in it. They do sometimes sell regular yarn, but they mostly carry like fancier stuff. PhD. <laughs> now you can say you have a lot of PhDs and totally brag because PhD stands for projects half done. So if you have a bunch of whips hibernating somewhere that are half finished, but you're not really ready to go back to, you can just call them PhDs and feel better about yourself. <laughs> Yarn barf. We've all experienced it. Some of us may not know what it's called, but yarn barf is when you're happily pulling yarn out the middle of your skein and all of a sudden a big blob of random tangled yarn mess comes out. That's called yarn barf. <laughs> Sometimes if it comes out nice and neat like another little skein, people call them yarn babies. The last one is yarn balm. Now, yarn barf and yarn bar balm aren't really abbreviations, but they're still things that are said in crochet world, or sometimes knit world, <laughs> um, that some of you might not know what they are. So yarn balm is when you make something 
um, it's usually like panels and stuff like that and then you you bomb something with it and what that means is like people you've seen pictures I'll probably pop up a couple <laughs> where they crochet around trees or around bicycles or lamp posts or any of these types of things out in the world statues things like that to um, just just make it pretty for a little while some places do leave it up for a while and I guess sometimes the designer probably takes it down after a little while all right luckily that was the last one because Jesse's coming from outside and he's wanting to hang out <laughs> right you want to say hi come over here say hi hi <laughs> well that's about all the abbreviations I have for you right now and remember these are just in crochet and knit and craft talk these aren't for the patterns um, I may make a video eventually about crochet abbreviations and patterns so uh, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. That's a one and three. If you have any comments or questions, leave them below. And if you're not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.